Hello there, welcome to the wonderful world of metal detecting. I'm here today at a 18th century mansion house with a church attached to it. I've already done most of the lawns outside the church and so on. Found a lot of Victorian pennies, uh, George V pennies and so on and such forth. A lot of modern stuff as well. This field behind me here used to be used for fairs. In fact, still is once a year. Hell of a lot of rubbish here, so I've brought a small coil and I'm going to try and pick some decent finds out of all the rubbish. And I might always uh, have a go on there as well, just in case I've missed anything. The coil I'm using is the 11 inch stock coil, comes with the E-Track, but I'll probably switch to an 8x6 later. Well I've had a couple of digs which I'll edit out, one was a, a modern penny, one was a modern pound coin. I've been in probably four or five minutes and I've got another signal here. And I appear to, hopefully it'll be a, a coin in here. It looks like a coin ball, you know how the the earth kind of hardens around a coin. It is, but it's a yeah, it's a pre decimal half penny. 1962. Now this one's a little bit older, by the looks of it. In fact, it looks so old that I, it's just totally worn away. Totally gone, that one. Not going to get a date off it, unfortunately. This is actually the same hole as I've just had that really worn half penny out. And there's another half penny. I put the sod back down and I went back over with the detector just to check there was nothing else there. Uh, but there was something there. And that looks like 1915 or 1916. Half penny. So that's a George V. Oh, that's another half penny. Uh, it's another George V. And it's the same as the last ones. Another half penny. Another old one. Another George V, 1912 that one, got a lovely patina to it, George V, mm, pretty worn on that side, 1920. I've been getting absolutely plagued by bottle tops that read 1239, 1240 or 1241. This is the same reading and I'm pretty sure it isn't a bottle top. The reason I don't discriminate against those bottle tops is because it can give the same signal as a big copper coin or a silver coin as well. So, there's something in there. And it's an old threepenny bit. Yeah, it's a half penny. They give some awful signals. I would say I'm digging two bottle tops to every coin now so I'm gonna give up in this place and oh well, I'll give it another five or ten minutes but this looks like a coin ball in this one remains to be seen whether it actually is something metallic in it another threepenny bit. I wish I could find some of the silver threepenny bits. This is reading a very constant 1241 and hopefully it's a coin, which it is. It's another George V because it's 1934. Hopefully this is another coin ball. Um, it's jumping around all over the place on the right hand side of the screen but nestling up towards the top. So I'm kind of thinking it's either an old threepenny bit or a half penny. Oh, it's actually a penny. Actually a penny. I found plenty of them. It's all manner of foulness around here, cocking the signal up. I just hope that this one is a coin. It's given roughly the right signals. <laughs> there's, the, there's the little half penny. That wasn't jumping around as much as the penny, which is very strange, because normally it 
finds it hard to lock onto these sorts of things, they're just made of absolute rubbish. It's another penny. Very dark one, this one. Oh, it's a Victoria. The old Victoria, so it's towards the latter half of the 1800s. It's actually got a lot of detail on it as well. Probably won't stay as good as this, but it's 1896. It's nice, it's the oldest one I've found so far today. Next to this gate, it's a bit of a hot spot. There's a hell of a lot of rubbish, but uh, I've also found a few coins as well. Hopefully there's another one in here, this is reading 1240, it's a lovely strong signal. Oh, there's actually two. The penny and the half penny. George the sixth penny, by the looks of it. And... A... I think it's an Edward. Oh no, it's a George the fifth half penny. George V, George VI. There might actually be more in there. I'll stick these in my pocket and have a look. Certainly something else in. It's another half penny. Another George the Sixth. And there's something else as well. I'd like to think that in, in amongst all this stuff, it was a bit of silver, but it's probably asking too much. No. Another half penny. Very worn, this one. Can't even see who it is. Very worn. Yet yeah, something more in there. Yet another half penny. That's actually a late Victorian one. And I think that's it. Wasn't bad, four or five cons out of one hole. This is a, a, a decent signal. Reading 1035, it's jumping around a little bit, but it says it's about six inches deep, so. That's where I've gone. And I, pro oh, I was going to say I'm probably not deep enough. But it looks like I am and there's a bit of silver. Marvellous. 1944 sixpence. That's the first bit of silver. Found a few pound coins, a few more pennies. Uh, and some bottle caps that give a 1240 reading, which is a, almost exactly the same as pound coins. Uh, so I've dug all of them, but that's the first bit of silver, so that's very nice. Left that field now, had a quick go outside the church, but I've done that one to death and hardly even got a signal there. This is what I found in that field collection of coins, one bit of silver, uh, and a few little knickknacks, which <laughs> probably is a mountain of nothing. But there's quite a few coins there. Not too bad. I'm gonna have a look along the end of this road, take a right and then swing round in front of the big mansion. See what I can find there. Just pulled up a National Fire Service button. It's been squashed this one unfortunately. But um, National Fire Service was stationed here, Second World War. It's interesting. Here's a good example of the e track see-through ability. There's an old coin. George V penny. 
In the same hole, big lump of burnt coke. The only signal it picked up was that. It's reading 1241, which is pretty much exactly where they all was hit. These were right next to each other. And it totally ignored the coke. Yeah, it's a little musket ball. I always like to find either a bit of silver or a musket ball. Uh, there's a half penny. Very worn. It's a uh, early Victoria. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to see a date. 1861. Ah, that's a well, pre-decimal, but it's a modern two shillings. The shot was a bit older and called a florin. Be made of silver. This is just made of alloy rubbish, unfortunately. If only it was silver. God knows what that is. I thought it was a candlestick or something, but I really don't know. It could be a light fin. Looks like it hangs. There's nowhere for any uh, electric to go, though. You've got a hole through it as well. No idea what that is. Marvellous, that's, that's another good example of the E-Track see-through abilities. Another National Fire Service badge. And a lump of coke. I just never seem to dig coke, unless it's in the same hole as something good. Really excellent machine. I've come round the front now. I've been around here a few times and found very little. A couple of uh, George V silvers, but nothing in particular. Uh, I think this one's a coin, possibly a half penny. Mm, it is a half penny. It's one of the modern ones. Right, I'm back home now, and here's a quick rundown of what I found. These are all old pennies. Some have got reasonable amounts of detail on. Especially the Victoria there. Not bad, I think that was 1896. These are all old half pennies. Plenty of them. These are all modern pennies in the middle of the screen there. Loads of them. And then you move on to threepenny bits, modern pound coins, silver sixpence, two National Fire Service badges, one of which has been run over, unfortunately. That one's pretty good. It's missing the back, unfortunately. Two shilling piece, half pennies, a two pence, ten pence, and a five pence. These various bits of, well, I don't know what they are, bits of knickknacks of some sort. Four wing nuts, not quite sure what they are off. And this perhaps came off like an old craft knife or scalpel, it's got checkering on here, as if you would hold it and do something with it. And this is some sort of fitting or other. I'm not exactly sure what its story is. But that turns to obviously lock something into there. I can only imagine it hung from a ceiling and something hang off it. I don't know. Musket ball, a ring of some sort, and a little pendant, which unfortunately isn't silver. The only silver thing is that which is a 1944 sixpence it's in pretty good condition George the sixth so that's a one for the collection 
good. 58 coins in about oh, three and a half hours. It's not too bad.